Good morning, thank you. I am Gregory Sanchez. And I am Matias Aziz. And, and welcome, welcome to, to San Q News. News. Today is October 19th and it is a day A. Let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty God, we pray for compassion and humility in our hearts. Let us be kind, gentle, generous, loving, giving, and forgiving wherever we may go. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please stand for a pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic of which it stands, stands and one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and, and justice for all. On October 7th, St. Hugh's School, along with schools throughout the Archdiocese of Miami, simultaneously prayed the Rosary in honor of the feast day of Our Lady of the Rosary. Students prayed along with the 8th graders as they watched the video of them as they prayed in church. Hispanic Heritage Mon is a time to celebrate the stories and cultures of the Americans whose families came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. On Friday, October 9th, San Hugh started to celebrate the Hispanic Heritage Day with an exhibition of projects they created, representing the many ways that Hispanic Americans helped save, save the United States. The study has also attended by presentations by Teatro Prometeo and finished the day with an anxiety of fun social tournament. Congratulations to the 8th graders, winner of the tournament. School gardens are an excellent tool for experiential learning and nutrition education. Students can eat what they grow. Fresh graders have done just as they planted ve vegetables in a garden outside their classroom. Ms. Fernandez, their teachers and parents prayed along with the children as Father Federico blessed the garden. Congratulations to our 7th and 8th grade students that participated in Christopher Columbus Academy of the Olympics last week. We especially want to recognize two students earning medals for history. Cristina Villa, third place, and Albert Sanchez, first place. Ch Chiara McCartney, second place for science. Raul Rodriguez and Carolina Lizama for second place for art. And Gregory Sanchez, first place for Spanish. Are you a fifth grader or sixth grader who loves books, media, and a willingness to help? Then St. Hugh Library Club is for you. The St. Hugh Library Club is a service organization dedicated to assisting students and teachers in the media center while forcing a love of reading with the community. Club members will promote the resources available in the center and work together to ensure it remains orderly and accessible to all. Join us! Students, remember that this Wednesday, October 21, is Faculty Planning Day and dismissal at 1 p.m. after school care is available. And here's Giancarlo Rice for sports. Thanks, Matias. The girls' junior varsity volleyball team beat St. Teresa after three sets, 25-15, 23-25, and 15-10. They ended eight wins, two loss for the season. Congratulations, Raiders. The boys' varsity volleyball team beat St. Teresa 25-9 and the JV boys basketball team beat St. John Newman 30-23 last Wednesday. Tryouts for the girls varsity and boys JV soccer team are being held today. Tomorrow the tryouts for the boys varsity basketball and girls JV soccer teams. Good luck. Back to you, Gregory. Well, now you know what is coming this week. Have a great day and thank you for watching St. Hugh News. news.